circled back into iconoclasm. Uh, the Empress Theodora uh, restored icons, uh, and it has been the, uh, the usage of the Orthodox Church ever since. And so today we remember that historical event, and, but we also celebrate that, uh, that great uh, suffering which so many people offered to Christ uh, for the sake of the integrity of the Orthodox faith. Because the icon is a witness to the resurrection. It's a witness to the incarnation. It's a witness to the reality of, of our faith that Jesus Christ came in the flesh. That he took on our humanity, he became what we are, so that he might make us what he is. He filled humanity with his divinity and raised it from the dead and raised it to the right hand of the Father. In his earthly life, if they had cameras back then, you could take a picture of it. And so the best, the best thing that they had, and it's pretty good, um, uh, were that you could, you could paint his image. And it's not just a matter of a remembrance that yes, you know, this, uh, this was Jesus and, you know, and uh, that by venerating that image, we also venerate him. Now, of course, the main focus of this is on the icon of our Lord Jesus Christ. Nobody ever had any quarrel with, uh, 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 with making images of the saints. But they did have a problem with venerating them. And even today, most of the Protestants are iconoclast. Most of the Protestants have, you know, just walk into a Protestant church, it, you know, it's stripped bare. I always love the reaction um, of, of a little kid getting taken to grandma's church and uh, a little, little three-year-old said, that's not church. Where's the priest? Where's the vestments? Where's the incense? And where are the icons? That's not church. So even the little ones understand that the, that the icons convey something extremely important. Is that they reveal and they manifest the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ and the presence of all the saints. that they are in our midst. But not only that, that we have walked into the midst of them. That when we step through those doors into the church, it's not just a matter of coming into a building for an assembly. It's a matter of stepping out of the world and into heaven. Stepping out of the world of, of fallen men and into, into the world of, of, of the angelic liturgy into, into the heavenly liturgy with all the angels and the saints. And so we've adorned our churches with icons to manifest that, that reality. And when we venerate the icons, we come face to face in a personal encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ and with the saints. Too often we don't value the icons highly enough. And especially as Americans, we're, we're just not used to that in our culture. Because we've grown up in an iconoclast culture. Um, uh, another thing you'll see Americans do is they'll put the Bible on the floor. Now, <coughs> if you do that in uh, a pious Greek or Russian home, Grandma's going to come up and hit you. <laughs> you know, whether it's Yaya or whether it's Babushka or whoever it is, you know. Um, because it's always put into a place of, uh, of honor, always a 
places because it itself is a is a written icon and in graphic icon as Saint, as Saint Maximus calls it of our Lord Jesus Christ theologically it's so important for us because it bears witness that not only has Christ taken on our humanity but that he has filled matter with grace he has filled matter with divinity and that by partaking of that matter <coughs> and that by venerating those images we partake of grace it's not something that is just coming from us to venerate an icon it's what comes back to us from the icon <coughs> and, that I, and that is precisely the experience if we can open our minds to it if we can open our hearts the experience of, of grace the experience of communion with God a renewal of that grace that, uh, that is within our hearts which is what uh, transforms us into Christians so as we, as we celebrate this feast day and at the end of the service we'll have all the kids come up with an icon we'll stand around we'll say the creed because this is, this is the heart and the soul of the faith that the fathers fought for and then there's a prayer for the conversion of those who are in error so, but let us think about this, you know, this great mystery that God has revealed to us in the holy icons, that we too might be partakers um, through them of that grace of the Holy Spirit, which has been poured forth upon us, that has been poured forth upon the saints, and through them to us, uh, which is being poured forth by our Lord Jesus Christ, by the all Holy Spirit, who is who is the mediator of that love uh, which God has for us.